This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. Welcome back, everybody, to Ace Attorney Investigations 2. Oh, man. Super excited. We're still on Turnabout Target, the beginning. Let's and keep going. we've had some exciting characters, like a lot of like Heart 2.0. And Everyone's that's literally favorite. the only. And Forensics Guy. <laughs> forensics Guy. All right, we're investigating the left side. And hey, look who it is, Marty. Oh, it's Prosecutor Payne. This is a terrible incident indeed, Mr. Edgeworth. Who is this man again? I, Winston Payne, am willing to assist as a prosecutor. He's a prosecutor? Why did you come here today? Yeah, because in the first game he thought he was the janitor. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I accompanied the chief prosecutor. Hmm. His voice sounds like the one I heard on the tape earlier. Was he one of the men oh. standing in front of Miss Swift? You thought it was Mo. I, I was, was trying Mo to do Winston's reason. voice. That makes more sense. And where is the chief now? The chief is a busy man. He had a special permission to leave the premises. He was the assassin. We never find him. We never find him ever. The chief called me here and then left by himself. I'm not completely satisfied with this. Did you come here to cover the welcoming event? You betcha. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Yeah, you're literally just doing Kay's voice now. <laughs> You betcha! I wouldn't have missed it for the world! What time did the event start? I don't know why you're giving her such a high pitch. I think maybe the problem is you gave Lada too high pitched of a voice. Yeah, I should have given her a lower pitched voice, but whenever... Whenever a southern gal gets intensely angry or, like, emotional in this, I just always want to make it a high pitched voice. Okay. Because that's me. Because whenever uh. I get emotionally intense, I'm like, but come on! Like, really? <laughs> oh no, you don't! You need Jesus! <laughs> what?! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what? Hey, you see what I mean, though? I, like, immediately go up. What time did the event start? It started after the rain stopped pouring. It had been raining all morning long. The president's plane got here at, uh, 1.45 p.m. That wasn't that hard to say. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> then the president began his speech at around 2 p.m. When did the shooting occur? Um, I reckon it happened sometime around 2.20 p.m. So it occurred about 20 minutes after the speech began. That's a long speech. Yup, it was right then the sound of the gunshots ripped through the air. And the poor old president collapsed on stage. And that's when what went, went down. What went down? <laughs> Talk, Marty. <laughs> on March 25th, 2.25 p.m. at Gord Lake Park. That's the other thing, it's Gord Lake. Yeah, because this is where uh, Yanni Yoki shot the guy. And Von Karma ate the folder. <laughs> 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 what? He did not eat a folder? Oh, you don't remember that? Oh, I was uh, editing the Trials and Tribulations videos where it's like, Yeah, remember when Von Karma shot the guy and then, like, he stole all the evidence of them and must be in jail. It's like, anything you might like to do before you, like, you get executed, Von Karma, he's just like, <laughs> eats the evidence. <laughs> okay, now I remember that. I was like, I don't remember making that theory, what, but... Yeah. What was that all of a sudden? Oh, that? That was... I was just recording some notes. It's for my report. If I think of something good, I'll take... I'll take note of it right away. I just slur everything. <laughs> and uh, often you get the chance to cover a presidential assassination. Gotta make it dramatic and heart-wrenching. I'm gonna write me one action-packed article. That was literally <laughs> just Lana's voice. <laughs> I'm sorry! There's nothing I can do! Nobody cares! I care. No one but Luke Skywalker cares. Did the president actually collapse on stage? The bodyguards escorted him onto the plane, sir. Uh, you'll have to pardon my embellishments. Sometimes I get a little carried away. This is why no one can trust the media. It seems uh, that it would be best if I took this so woman's testimony of a grain of salt. This kind of goes, though, with the idea that I had of the president shot himself. Or, <laughs> no. or, or the idea that, like, the president being killed or killed is in cahoots with, like, his bodyguard men where they're like, let's get him out of the way. Or the bodyguard men might be in cahoots with the assassins, so they're like, Ooh. they'll pull him aside, and, and then shoot they'll just- him in there. No! They might, like, beat him to death, so he's, Oof. like, unconscious, and then, like, they're like, oh yeah, you can't go in there. Beat him in to the death, place. so he's unconscious, or beat him to death, so he's dead? <laughs> okay, you know. No, I don't! That's why, why I was she horrified! a bear trap? On <laughs> her bag? 
<laughs> you never know when you run into bears, <laughs> y'all. I don't know. She has like Beats headphones as well. <laughs> Beats by Dre. Well, now I guess you could call me a reporter. It sure sounds different when somebody else calls you that. Reporter Nicole Swift. Yep, it's got a nice ring to it. Just to be clear, you are an actual reporter, correct? In training. What? Then how many articles have you written so far? Oh, uh, you mean like actually published works? Uh, none at the moment. Y yet, you still call yourself a reporter? Well, this case is gonna put me in the spotlight. I don't capture the whole dire speech perfectly, no bloopers at all. With this mic and this tape recorder. I'm gonna be a shining star in the broadcast world just like my mentor. So, Mr. Prosecutor, how you know my mentor? You're the one who brought up the subject, and that's like the fifth time your voice has changed. <laughs> um, I may or may not have a weird vocal box. Uh, <laughs> I may not have said something like that. As a reporter, you should take responsibility for your words. She, she is, um, Lotta 2.0 in that she's like a split personality. And she's a robot she just, in her she voice. She just goes into Lotta's voice occasionally. <laughs> it's fine. But my mentor always tells me, a reporter should always leak information freely. What? What a public nuisance! She told me that when she gave me this here tape recorder, get out there and record all the scandalous scoops you can get! So you create smoke where there's no fire. I am amazed that you call yourself a reporter. I don't start the fires. I just fan out the smoke as far and wide as I can. Isn't that what I just said? I'm a prosecutor. This here's the famous... Why ain't you wearing it? It's just not my custom. It's actually because Manfred von Karma told him not to. I see them attorneys wearing them all the time. What do you have to say about that? No comment. Hmm. The difference between public prosecutors and private attorneys become clear as day. I'd appreciate it if you didn't fabricate such false comments. Speaking of which, you ain't giving me my interview yet. Well, let's begin. What's your favorite food, Mr. Prosecutor? It's tea, pal. He even has his own original blend in the office. It's <laughs> your friend, Uval. I will drink that. <laughs> if someone made a, fa a fan-made thing of that. Oh, ho, ho. Mr. Prosecutor's quite the Borgorian... <laughs> Bourgeoisie. Bourgeoisie? What? <laughs> uh, uh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you calling bourgeoisie, and why are you answering her questions, detective? It's alright, sir. I know pretty much all there is to know about you. Ooh, what else can you tell me? I need it's to hear about dangerous the... to leave these two alone. I need to hear about that scandal when uh, Edgeworth was caught in, <laughs> in the music room with a girl in high school. This is what I think of America. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, man. it looks like that. It does. I can't believe I got this scoop because of this here article. This newspaper sure is amazing. You came here because you read this article? That's right. I started preparing for the two days ago. For this two days ago. So the news media gets its news from other outlets now? Say what you will, but I'm working my tail off here. You know what I just realized? I, like, don't remember the voice I gave Kay. That'll be oh, fun. Oh, really? Well, I kind of do. It's always like, it's like, hey, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Yeah, like yeah, that. that's oh, it, okay. yeah. Of course, it'd be a different story if Mr. Prosecutor would actually cooperate with me. What a shameless reporter. I don't think, I don't think there's anything else. This game I care a little- Oh yeah, I guess that's the one other thing. This game is, I'd say, less funny than some of the other ones, but that's, that's okay. fine, I guess. Hello, hey, bro. weirdo. Excuse me. I, I, must get, in the front row. I must get to the samurai dog stand. It's- it's very important. Wait, you haven't done your chicken walk yet. Oh, uh, we'll get to that eventually. Alright, Dick Gumshoe is 32, homicide detective in oh, charge of the local old. precinct. Di Jun Huen, he's 58! Look at that mug! Look at that mug. <laughs> he looks like Donkey Kong, if Donkey Kong was blonde. President of the Republic of Zane Fa targeted during his speech. Nicole Swift, 20! She's young. She's Reporter young. covering the president's welcoming she, like, event, seeking a scoop. Did she, like, go to college? In college? Maybe? Lada kind of did went, go to university, but she then, like but then she out. didn't. She's like, it wasn't my thing. I wanted to... I wanted Who to... dropped their Starbucks on the floor? <laughs> this is completely unacceptable. This is like when I parked my car at college, and they were like, 
you literally almost parked on this water bottle that was just perfectly placed in the parking oh. spot. And, like, my friend got out of the car. They were like, why is this here? I don't know. You don't need to go through the garbage. You prosecutors get a tough job. All right. I, I, I like that voice. Detective Gumshoe. Right away, sir. You don't have to dirty your hands. <laughs> so it's the detective's job to go through the trash. Prosecutors don't want to dirty their hands. Hmm. Let's see. I hope I find something good. The detective seems to be a little too eager about searching through the trash. The this is a winning popsicle stick! Detective, this is not Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. S uh sorry, sir. Let's see, something related to the case. Hmm? Look what I found, sir! Yes, good work. Let's have a closer look. I'll need to view oh. this object from various angles oh, to uncover wait, the truth you, hidden within. Before you hit the thing, now we can actually look at the guys up there. Oh my gosh! Angel Man has the Wind Waker! I TOLD YOU THAT LAST yeah, VIDEO! Yeah, but I've, now I can actually see it! <laughs> yeah, and then it's Toon Link, Zelda, Edgeworth K, and, um... Some guy with a coat, who's <laughs> a little smug. I think, like, Lang Z might be back. <laughs> and, um, Sherlock Holmes. It's not Sherlock Holmes, you kidding me? <laughs> He's in, apparently, the okay, Japanese-only here's the thing that I'm realizing, too. Zelda might be, like, an inkling, because she's got the weird hair... <laughs> ...thing that's, like, on the side. I don't know. Well, Maybe it's like a spirit medium? Maybe. That'd be cool. Yes, sir! Just give me the word and I'll spin the evidence round and round. Hold the R button and use the D-pad to rotate the object to the desired viewing angle. If you want to zoom in or zoom out, I'll move the evidence for you, sir. Press the X button to zoom in and the Y button to zoom out. Investigate every fine detail. If you find something suspicious, please let us know immediately, sir. Move the cursor to a spot of interest and press the A button to investigate it. Alright, let's give it a try. That sounds really shallow and stupid. Let's try it. Oh, wow! It's, it's a document of some sort. They have to let's translate Let's see. That? Yep. Uh, President's security detail? These are the plans for the President's security, sir! It depicts the security layout. Let's see. Leader Rook... Lieutenant Knightley. Rook takes Knightley's place. Pay extra attention to the lake area. In case of an emergency, Knightley will lead the president inside the plane. A terrorist in the evidence? Or in the audience, not the evidence. We can't be certain there isn't one. The bodyguards' names are written on here, too. Rook and Knightley. That's hilarious. Mm -hmm. The bodyguards are not from the Republic of Zane Fa. Seems that the president hired a local security firm. Why didn't he use the police force of Zane Fa? You want to know the reason? That's another big scoop. Do you know something about it? I was just at the Zane Fa embassy the other day. As you do? Preparing what? for this, probably. Oh, doing some, research. Get some news material. Because it's not just like, oh yeah, <laughs> you happen to be in the park. Guess what? President of Zane Fa just randomly showed up. No, Woo! it was going to be like, on this day, President Zane Fa will flip oh, right, everyone oh, right. off. <laughs> the Zane Fa embassy is in their country of Japan. Afford America. Them. Japan afford. Them. America. <laughs> We're not in America. You see those cherry blossoms? <laughs> That's we have what those I in heard. America. <laughs> Sounds like the president's got plenty of enemies. Clearly, if someone tried to shoot him. We also don't get along too well with the top brass of the Mizang Fa police. I see. Can't he read. doesn't even trust the people of his own country. This could be related to the assassination attempt. Security plans data jotted down in my organizer. <laughs> it's, it's actually Agent Wayne. It's just like, Wayne Z says, you're dead. <laughs> I don't think that would work. Because he's from Zane Fa. Uh -oh. But why would this document be in the bag? That is strange indeed. It concerns the safety of the president. Normally, it would be under tight security. Hmm? This bag. There's something else in it, sir. Yeah, I noticed that first. <laughs> The, this is... Oh, I didn't notice that at all. It's a gun, sir! Mr. Edgeworth, could this bag have belonged to the... Indeed, it is possible that the assassin may have thrown it away. It's a revolver. For something like this to appear in a place like this. I mean... Gun is prohibited in America? That's impossible. Americans love all guns of every kind. Not, 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 real, not, not everyone. Really. I mean, we don't have guns. That I know <laughs> I... of. I don't have a gun, but let me tell you, nothing wants makes me want to get a gun more than people wanting to take away my right to get a gun. 
That's the American way. That's the American way. I have two swords. Is this the I work have. of a professional assassin? He must have used that document to carry out the crime, sir! This revolver. I will need to take a closer look at it. This is... a laser pointer. It's an implement you attach to a gun to help you aim with a laser, sir. Just press here and... It's firing a red laser, sir! Did the assassin use this laser pointer to target the president? This gun fired two bullets that matches the number of gunshots heard. This must be the murder weapon, sir! Check the ballistic markings. Revolver data jotted down in my organizer. They can't check that until they have a bullet to check against. This bag has provided us with lots of useful evidence! Dumpster diving really paid off, sir! Good work, detective. I have one more request. Please tell the forensics team to check the gun and the bag for fingerprints. Yes, sir! If we can obtain fingerprints, it would be a huge breakthrough in our investigation. I've got the results back, sir! Because both forensics guys were right here and they could do it in literally two seconds. The- That was fast! Of course! I made them double time it! Unfortunately, we couldn't find any fingerprints, sir. So they were wearing gloves. Are you certain that you did a thorough search? Of course! We combed every inch! We even took out the bullets and examined them, sir. As expected, this won't be easy. Ask him. You are with the television crew, are you not? Uh, um, that's right, but... Then you must have recorded the speech. I'd like to see the footage. Y yeah um, about that. Uh, that'll be difficult. What was that, pal? <laughs> what is this voice? <laughs> it's your duty as a citizen to cooperate with the investigation. One-off characters, I give the weirdest that possible voices. <laughs> After the incident, the guests knocked over the TV camera in the panic. All the footage was lost. If there was any footage left, it would have been vital evidence. Yeah, it's too bad, sir. Uh, someone's laughing, is it me? What? what was that? This is you, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna assume it's Kay. Looks like you're in a jam, Mr. Edgeworth. That voice. It is Kay! Kay! Where- Where is she coming from, anyway? She jumped off the van. Long time no see, Mr. Edgeworth. The hero of justice. Kay Farday is here to save the day. Hero? I guess she wouldn't refer to herself as a heroine. So have you given up on this great thief business yet? Nope, I haven't stopped. I'm just on vacation. I'm still in training to become the second Yadagarasu. About two weeks ago, this girl became involved in one of my cases. The mysterious phantom thief, the Yadagarasu. The case of a gentleman thief who steals the truth for the sake of justice. This girl is the successor to the great thief. If you need to pick a locker on tie a rope, leave it to me! But, since I'm still in training, I haven't actually stolen anything yet. Kay, what are you doing here? Isn't it obvious I want to join in the festivities? She does seem to have a fondness for these kinds of events. Afterwards, I thought I'd come meet up with you guys. Well, we're glad to see you! You look like you've been doing well, pal! It's been a while, Gummy! I'm glad you're well, too! Kay, you said earlier that you could help me out? <laughs> Please, don't be surprised, Mr. Edgeworth. I took a photo that captures the exact moment of the crime. I see. Could you show it to us at once? The same as usual, I see. Can't you act even a little bit surprised? Yeah, that prosecutor's always in a sour mood. He even got annoyed when I called him my second mentor. Oh, by the way, I'm Nicole Swift. So, up and coming. I thought it said sup. 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 <laughs> sup and coming. Investigative reporter. Nice to meet you, Nicole. That was really weird spacing. Because it was like, nice to meet you, Nicole. That's because it's thing. a comma. So you take a little bit of a break after. Nice to meet you, Nicole. Yeah, Mr. Edgeworth's really. Enough idle chatter. Can you please just show us the photo? <sighs> Fine. Here. Duh! What's going on? Why is one of them in a neck brace? <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh is in a neck brace. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh!
always in and a flat necklace. top is. Uh... No, he looks like um. He looks like a Lego guy. <laughs> <laughs> he does, but he looks like some. But that's that's a mustache, that not a. Like, yeah, it's a mustache. Oh, you thought it was a dog? No, no, but I just. <laughs> oh, the blood is like perfectly in the middle of Aslan's face. He's like, oh, that hurts. Well, why are they like both looking weird? Also, why does he have a checkered tie? <laughs> Don't knock his sense of style. So, here's the thing. What happened to the second bodyguard who looks like him? Those are two different bodyguards. Both of those guys were bald. Okay. Oh, I just realized the two bald bodyguards look exactly like one of the it. characters that you can be in Twine. 007, the world is oh. not enough multiplayer. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they do, but I'm like, those are different bodyguards. That's weird. Anyway, this is the moment I took right at the moment of the gunshot. It was awful. Everyone in the audience was running in panic. This photo depicts the president and his two bodyguards. Judging from the names written on the security plan, these two must be Rook and Knightley. Hmm. What is this? Thank you, Kay. This will be a very important clue. Oh, you got that sharp look in your eyes. Did you find something, Mr. Prosecutor? In this photo, there is a contradiction. This photo? I don't see nothing. If you don't understand, then I'll show you. Is it because there's no bullet in the flag? There's no flag, or that's a different flag. Oh, uh, it's no, it's a different flag. The scene captured in the photo and the evidence I have on hand. By comparing the two, I'll find the contradiction. It's time for my deductive skills to come into play. First, I have to find the spot that holds the contradiction. This, okay, this is the one thing that they kind of really babies you on. I found it, like, <laughs> I was already way far ahead of this by the time they... Was it just the fact that he shot in the forehead? Once I found the contradiction, I press the X button with conviction. Eureka. Then I present the evidence that contradicts the spot. <laughs> yeah, it's really stupid because it's like, In this photo, he doesn't have a red shot on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Swift, this newspaper contains a photograph of the president. He does not have a red dot. I'd like you to compare the photo of him flipping you off with the photo Kay took at the scene. <laughs> I hate America! <laughs> we need to meme this. <laughs> Americans fighting for gun rights, be like. <laughs> I don't care! <laughs> hmm? What do you mean? Oh! That's right. There's something on the president's forehead that wasn't there. Yeah! Any loser <laughs> could see that! <laughs> so dumb. This is like one part I actually messed up on a lot because I'm just like really expecting to have to figure <laughs> that, that out. out. Is that a mole? Mm hmm. Certainly looks like a red mole. Duh! I have embarrassing acne. <laughs> That's not what that is! Isn't that a bullet hole? <laughs> That's foolish. It's hard to believe that a mole would make a pu that would, It's hard to believe that a mole would pop out of thin air like that. He's really bad, stubborn, acidic acne. It's very common. At 58. <laughs> it happens. Maybe a bug bit him, sir. <laughs> that all? I thought you were onto something. Turns out it's just an itsy bitsy bug hole. Bug hole, Marty? What did that say? <laughs> it said bug bites. <laughs> We really need to not record these so late at night. I hate myself. <laughs> oh lord. I thought it said bug hole. Nope. It was definitely bug hole. I was thinking, I was still thinking bullet hole. <laughs> you were talking with such a serious look on your face, I was getting all excited. <laughs> you called it a bug hole. <laughs> the way to the truth. I do believe we may have just found the video title. It always begins with small contradictions. <laughs> the itsy bitsy bug hole. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be a real way. Uh, that'd be. <laughs> Let me just restart that. Yeah. That'd be a great way of putting. Put. Mark, <laughs> just slow down a little bit. You can't be slow and southern. I don't know. You can't be <laughs> slow and southern is also a good video title, man. <laughs> you can't. You gotta go fast. Ooh, that'd be a great way of putting it. I'll be using that for my article. Kay's camera data jotted down in my organizer. 
<laughs> Maybe we won't get as far as I thought we were going to. I'm sorry! Stalked K. What's up? Oh, she didn't say yeah. <laughs> she never said yeah. yeah. She said yes. <laughs> what do you think? Just like a real hero, right? Yes. A tr new truth has come to light thanks to you. I'm trying to live up to the reputation as the second gr second generation Yadagrasu. Still, I hope to show you more of what I've learned from my training. In regards to your training, please tell me you didn't... Don't worry, I didn't steal anything. Good. Oh wait, before we finish that, I think that might end the investigation. So let's talk to Gumshoe. Yes, sir! These camera flashes have been blinding me all day, sir. That one forensics guy is just taking non-stop photos of me. It's really weird. The media and even these onlookers have been in a photo frenzy. This is a rare event for them. Just let them be. But they're clearly taking pictures of you and me, Mr. Edgeworth. This is a violation of our publicity rights. I'm going to do something about it. Before I could stop him, he had already run off. Searching for cameras that took pictures of him and making the crowd angry in the process. This is a man who truly never betrays your expectations. You can press the L- I can't- yes, I am aware of this gumshoe. That's pretty good. <laughs> By the way, Mr. Edgeworth, do you still remember my name? Of course I do. What are you talking about? Evidence and people- okay, I'm sorry. This is pretty boring. You can use my profile. I'll try that today with the R button. Yes, okay, never mind. He says just Goodbye. tutorial stuff. Back to K. He's just staring at- this is like what it looks like. No, turn away. Hey. No one can, no one can see <laughs> but that. It, but it looks like we're like a parallel angle. Yeah. Like a right angle. Still taking a break from being a great thief. That's nice to hear. I want to hurry up and fight for the truth, just like my father. But I'm still in training. And I haven't found any members to join me yet. The Yadagarasu, huh. She said that she wanted to recruit some girls to join her. What is she, Tylee? She could be like the, the girls from Avatar. The Kyoshi Warriors. <laughs> they barely do anything. Um, yes they do. They fight. They just don't have bending. In one episode. Also, imagine them now that Tylee taught them chi blocking. They can just take them all down. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, in addition to spoiling uh, previous Ace Attorney games, we also spoiled the crap out of Avatar. <laughs> the Not last really. Airbender. We referenced that so freaking much. Avatar? In the yes. I guess. I mean, that's not really a spoiler. Not really. There just aren't that many girls out there who want to become a great thief. Well, I would hope not. Also, how long does it take her to do her hair every day? Dang. It's like super... I think she uses like I, three She's gotta scrunchies. stick a keyblade into it. Yeah, she's gotta stick a keyblade in. This photo of the president and the president from the newspaper... No matter how you look at it, the red mole is a contradiction! You can't be this stupid. <laughs> it's hard to believe that a red mole just appeared out of thin air. I get it. Let me steal a line that you said earlier. The way to the truth always begins with the small thefts. That's not what I said at all. Stealing is an art. I rearranged it to fit my style. Your version seems to have lost the true essence of my words. Goodbye, Kay. We have to look- oh, we've got logic. logic. Assassination Red mole! Red oh mole. no! This couldn't possibly have been from a laser pointer! <laughs> I've solved the mystery of the red mole. Great, Edgeworth, I saw it instantly. I didn't realize it was a laser pointer we picked up. You mean it's not a bug bite, sir? It's nothing it's not like a bug, a bug bite or a bug hole or an itchy rash. <laughs> this is the light from a laser pointer. You mean a gun was aimed at the president's forehead? And right after that, the second gunshot was heard. That's certainly more than just an itch, sir. Indeed, I'm concerned for the president's well-being. It's become more and more likely that this gun was the weapon used in the attack. Assassin's revolver data updated in my organizer. But why did the criminal use a laser pointer, sir? That's right! There would have been a beam of light shining from their hands. Pew, 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 pew! Way too conspicuous. And if you follow the path of the laser, you will find out who fired the shot. And also, it's conspicuous. Yeah, I slurred it. That's not good at all. <laughs> Maybe you should get some sleep. 
Yeah, I didn't get a lot of sleep, actually. Oh, yeah, I also took some other photos. Maybe the light from the laser pointer was captured on those. It's a long shot, but there may be a chance. Kay, could you show us these photos? Coming right up! Firstly, the photo from before the incident. I do like that expression on Kay's face. She's kind of like, where the heck is this thing? Oh my gosh, it's a selfie! Your face is taking up most of the frame. <laughs> I wanted to get a two shot of me and the president. This was taken a little before the gunshots. Oh, I should have kept it up longer. And this, this here's the one I showed you from before. This was right after the first gunshot. And immediately after that, a second gunshot rang out. And then... Great, you took a photo of someone's butt. Great job, Kay. What is this? As weird as this sounds, I am gonna keep this one up because I just want to look around and see. <laughs> that not, booty. Not, not the butt, <laughs> but like other stuff. <laughs> what is this? You can't really see much in this photo. But that's the same... Uh... Sack. Thing. Bag. Or right? so... Mm, it, I think it looks a little different. A little different? Who, who is that, I wonder? After that last photo, one of the running guests knocked me down. <laughs> it's Mr. Ratburn. No, if it's Sans Mr. or Bugs. <laughs> no, Mr. Stewart is already oh, dead. Oh, I forgot about no if Sans. <laughs> I forgot about that. The guests are knocked yeah. me down. It looks like the shutter clicked just then. This doesn't look too helpful, pal. Well, those were all the photos I took. Case okay, camera I data updated. I want to look at that first selfie again. I'd like to examine these in a bit more detail. Mm. There's the laser pointer. Right there. <laughs> Is that Winston Payne? <laughs> it's a guy in a hoodie. Uh, old man it's a guy in a hoodie. Okay, cool. Kay's like, oh my god. I'm a good. Investigate which photo before the incident. Yeah. Did I find it? You did. Where can the light from the laser pointer be seen? Right there. There's nothing unusual about this. Um, I there definitely was. You have to move it down more. At least it didn't punish you. I found it. W what? Just look in front of this person in the red hood. Ah, there. Yes, that's probably the light from the laser pointer. Th then that red-hooded person would be the assassin. We did it! It's all thanks to me, right? Right. As expected, the great thief has stolen the truth. <laughs> Perhaps the criminal can also be seen in the other photos. Let me examine these photos one more time. Now uh, let's try the second, I guess. This the one? That's the, the one of the oh, president, like, oh, the <laughs> Not the bug hole! <laughs> Where can the red-hooded assassin be seen? Uh, it's probably the red next to the butt. <laughs> red next to the butt! <laughs> Sorry. Hashtag out of context. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, there! The red-hooded assassin. It looks like they're escaping in the panic, sir. We can see the direction they ran in. Ah! The steel, the steel Samurai Dog Banner! Right. The assassin escaped towards the right side of the audience area. Detective Gumshoe? Got it, sir! We'll investigate the right side of the audience area! You should have just started there anyway. I'm counting on you. Well, there were people on both sides, so they had to move them all to one side anyways. Winston Payne's like, Wow, this has been interesting! <laughs> I've just been standing under the prosecutor- The prosecutor tree? What? Who is this weirdo? The Red Hooded Assassin. Since the park was sealed off, there is nowhere they could have run to. If we follow their trail, we'll definitely catch them. Now then, let's continue with the investigation. We'll definitely find the traces of the assassin! The flag from the shooting booth is laying on the ground. The crowd probably knocked it over. Judging from all the footprints on the flag, there must have been quite a panic. Couldn't we have just found red hooded man and then like Maybe they to took you? off the red hood. They put it they're tied around their waist, they're like nobody will ever know. <laughs> <laughs> do you know where the where you can buy these flags, sir? Why do you want to know? Dollar store. Are you going to write gumshoe on the flag and carry it around with you? Gah! How do you know, sir? Don't tell me! Mr. Edgeworth, did you just read my mind, sir? 
I meant it as a joke, though, for him to actually have thought that. Hey, look, it's where Leary works! Yeah. There are toy rifles lined up neatly on top of the counter. Oh! It's a shooting booth, sir! One of them's a real rifle, <laughs> 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 I hate to brag, but I'm actually pretty good at these! I thought you oh. I thought you said that you weren't good with guns. Oh. What? Maybe the first gunshot was from there. They wouldn't be that loud, though. No, I'm saying, like, first gunshot was from there. To put the people in a panic. And if then they, they were toy rifles, shot. they wouldn't shoot that loud. No, I'm saying they the actual gun shot from over there, so people would think... Oh, interesting. Yeah, maybe. It's not that it's not that I'm not good with them. I just don't like guns, sir. What kind of an American are you? Normally, that's what you would call not being good with guns. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious-looking nook and cranny. It was raining before we arrived. Oh, it was. Yeah. I just thought like hey, look, a bug hole. I just thought like five people spilled their like Starbucks hot water. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like when <laughs> yeah. When you go to Starbucks, you're like, I don't want coffee. I just want like. That's what Tanya water. gets. That's what that is, is. What Tanya gets. It's a red button, sir. Could this be a red button? It appears to have been ripped it's the only off. Thing that's vegan. Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> they put meat in all their coffee. It's so gross. <laughs> That's a conspiracy theory, though. This could be related to the person in the red hood. <laughs> I'm in a weird mood. Clearly. Yeah, clearly. It is a cheap-looking oh, food yeah, stall see. made out of plywood. They're selling samurai dogs. I see. Mr. Edgeworth, I've got two dollars, sir. Am I imagining fiends, or are you suggesting we take a snack break during our investigation? Uh, of course not, sir. I just thought... Um, it could help us with our investigation. I'll buy you a box when we're finished with the investigation. I'm sorry, sir! I- Huh? What? What's with that look on your face? Is there a problem? No. That was just unexpected, sir. That's yeah, that was nice of him. hoodie underneath the stand. There's something red down there. Detective Gumshoe, please check underneath the food stall. In the water. Something's stuck down here. Let's see. It is a red raincoat. Could this be... The assassins! It appears that he got rid of his raincoat before he ran away. Well, I wonder who... Red raincoat did it. jotted down in the organizer. That was a guy, other than, like, Winston Payne. Payne. <laughs> what if Winston Payne was the mastermind the whole time? I would laugh. And gets away with it because he appears in Apollo. <laughs> I would laugh. This sleeve, it's inside out. It's also missing a button. Gee, I wonder what we can connect to logic wise. There's a button. The left sleeve, there doesn't appear to be anything out of place. It's not turned inside out, and the button is still tightly in place. Even though it was thrown away, it looks a bit too clean. It looks like the fallen button came up from the raincoat. It probably fell off when the assassin took off the raincoat. If you look closely, you can see that the right sleeve is inside out, sir. It appears they took it off in a hurry. The button was probably torn off. After shooting the president, the assassin disposed of the gun and the bag in the garbage bin. Then, during the panic, they moved from the left to the right side of the audience area. The bullet's trajectory led us to suspect someone who was on the left side of the audience area. The assassin then took off the raincoat and hid it under the stand. The assassin was in a hurry to remove the raincoat. That's why there are signs that the right sleeve was hastily removed. It also explains why the button was torn off. If that's the case, why is the left sleeve not in the same state? Ah! That sleeve is an inside out! On the contrary, the button is still tightly fixed. What do you mean, sir? To find the answer, we must examine this raincoat in detail. You must play logic chess. We need a person to do that, though. Yeah, we gotta find him. The right sleeve is turned inside out. And you can see where the button's been torn off. Indeed. This raincoat must have been removed in a hurry. Oh, 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 mud! It's mud. Dude. What if it's the reporter? Because they said there was mud all over her clothes. 
And she said she could return her That would also make out. sense why they didn't do Lot of Heart then. As yeah. the character. Yeah, and then they just were like, oh, the mud. Because she said it was a reverse poncho, pancho, what? What is Parka. it called? Parka. Parka, that's it. This is a raincoat is a brilliant bright red. Just looking at it makes me want to charge at it. Like in a bullfight. Yeah! My heart is always fired up like a bull. I'd say you're just simple-minded. Man, that's hard. Just a little bit, yeah. Also, it's like as flat as a pancake, jeez. They could examine the hood. How much of this did we already- okay. We, we can really quickly get through the dialogue, though. Examine the hood. We already oh, did. There was a zipper that we could examine? I'd like to investigate the inside of this raincoat. Detective Gumshoe? Got it! Ah, gotcha. This is a blood stain. Judging by the location, this is most likely the assassin's own blood. So we're looking for someone who's injured, sir. Not just any injury, detective. An injury on their left arm. What? What do you mean, sir? The criminal was in a hurry to take off their coat. That's why the right sleeve is inside out. On the other hand, the left sleeve remained unchanged. How did how did this difference arise? Quite simply, the assassin couldn't get his arm through the left sleeve. If you think of it like that, it all starts to add up. Furthermore, a blood stain was found on the left side of the raincoat. I see! He couldn't get his injured arm to fit through the sleeve! Yes, indeed. I'd say the possibility is quite high. Red raincoat data updated. It's all coming together. Investigation Except complete. we don't even know who it is. Detective Gumshoe, I want you to pull our assassin out of the crowd. Roger that, sir. Someone with an injured left arm, right? You must have had a good head on your shoulders if you see- if you- if you did see through- If you did see through me, Mr. Prosecutor. Finding the assassin with only that much evidence shouldn't be a problem at all. That's our Edgeworth! With everyone in the park sealed in, the assassin should still be within the crowd. I'm counting on you, Detective Gumshoe. It's the... it's the chief. March 25th, 3.27pm Gordon Lake Park audience or area. <laughs> After all, he got special permission to leave, so he, he's not here. Mm -hmm. Mr. Edgeworth, we found a suspicious person in that condition, sir! That's gotta be the assassin! Okay, we haven't proven that this person is the assassin yet. For now, this is just a person of interest. Don't jump to conclusions. Got it. I'll control myself. There's no doubt that this guy is the, the guy who targeted the president, sir. It takes a daring person to target someone's life in front of an audience. Detective, bring him here. Courteously. Yes, sir! Hey, you guys! Bring him here! Oh. Um, is that Shelly the killer? Indeed! With the ice cream. <laughs> He's not carrying an umbrella and his left arm is bandaged. But you didn't expect him to come back in the first case. <laughs> you there, state your name. This is... My name is John Doe. <laughs> this is something. Um, <laughs> wait. In this, what? what is the... Is uh, Matt on guard at this point, like, famous? Is he... Um... I want to know the timeline, kind of, because I kind of forgot. This takes place way after Justice for All. Oh, but he's still... Yeah, because he's still, like... Because he got away. Yeah, because he got away and he still had his website, his webpage. <laughs> his website. www.hireshellydekiller.com <laughs> He said that! <laughs> at the end, like, uh, for his farewell in the credits, he was like, I have oh, a webpage that oh, yeah. you can request me at. <laughs> My name is John Doe. John Doe. That's an unusual name. That is correct. This man. Have I seen him somewhere before? You literally didn't! He didn't see him, though. He didn't see him, but he's, 
wouldn't he recognize the voice? Not necessarily. He had an enhancer, maybe, on the radio. Maybe. However, how he doesn't notice the shell icons is a bit of a <laughs> Oh, I forgot <laughs> about them. The Prosecutor Edgeworth. He's... You know my name? Yes. I have been observing your investigation. And may I ask why you have called me here? We are searching for the assassin who attempted to murder the president. Do you recognize this red raincoat? No. I'm terribly sorry, but I'm afraid I do not. I believe that this raincoat belongs to the assassin. Oh my, that is terrible indeed. Also, his, I, he... his ice cream cone looks like his face and is like the one that's actually doing his expressions, which is kind of funny. It's funny, and also, how did he get his arm bandaged that quickly? If this is actually the assassin. Right. That's what I've been trying to figure out. This person should also have a severe injury on the left side of their body. Precisely like yours. I have no relation to this. Stare down! Mana mana! It's like they're firing laser beams on out of their eyes. Out of their eyes. So, what happens next? She's drunk, just it's okay. <laughs> drunk in the park? I mean, it is spring and it is Japanifornia. Obviously a confrontation, pal! A battle of wits between two gentlemen. Should I hear his explanation? <laughs> what? You no, you're no. under arrest. <laughs> you have to say no. Detective Gumshoe, how long do you plan on taking on talking with a civilian? Ah! Sorry about that, sir. Well, hey, that's me! At least let him learn something. Alright. Better hear it, I guess. A witness might lie or misunderstand. If you find a contradiction in their statement, oh, is... you present evidence, pal. Present in, uh, capitalized in the middle of a sentence. Press the R button at the organizer. Yeah, yeah, we know that. And if you don't find a contradiction, what do you do then? At those times, you press the witness for more details. Yes, yes, simple tutorial. Alright, sir, could you give us a demonstration, please? Go, Mr. Prosecutor, you are America's best! See? <laughs> she just won't quit. He's not America's best, he's Britain's, br br Britain's best. Mr. Doe's testimony. <laughs> I understand that the person on the raincoat is suspicious. However, that doesn't mean he was injured. I don't suppose you have proof. This is some first case. I know! It's so good! They're like, hey, uh, remember that assassin that was, like, the biggest butt in, like, <laughs> Injustice for All? Yeah, he's in the first case. He's in the first case! <laughs> and it literally just gets better. What, is Dahlia mean? gonna come back from hell? <laughs> what is gonna happen? Clearly, my left arm is injured, but I can still use my right arm. You're just eating ice cream. When it was raining, I used an umbrella. I have no need for a raincoat. Where's your umbrella, pal? You didn't wear a raincoat. That's your claim? Yes. Not everyone uses a raincoat for protection against the rain. I am an umbrella person, after all. <laughs> I'm definitely a raincoat person. Umbrellas will hinder your movement. I'm an umbrella man. Well, I don't use raincoats or umbrellas. Come rain or snow, all I need is a trusty parka. I just don't use anything. I just run in the rain. This wasn't what I wanted to talk about. I hope you understand. I am not the assassin. Unfortunately, leaving a testimony unexamined goes against my principles. How troublesome. I am but a simple ice cream salesman. Oops. What? Wow. Please excuse me. In the panic earlier, my wound seems to have reopened. Oh, of course! And you're using the ice cream Please? napkin to wipe up your blood? <laughs> don't buy his ice cream! It's not- <laughs> <laughs> I don't- how did gross. He, what I want to know is, how did he keep the entire, like, snow cone ice cream in his mouth? Because it's like, it was about from his nose to the end of this his This is chin. just the model that Baskin Robin uses, like, where they put mashed potatoes on it and take the photos of it. <laughs> or, like, the model food? Yeah. There's no mistaking that the owner of this raincoat is the assassin. Furthermore, the owner has an injured left arm. Mr. Doe, I shall reveal your true colors for all to see. Oh yes, we do have blue moon ice cream, sir. It is delicious. He has like strawberry and vanilla, which are great. Well, vanilla is. Anyhow. 
that's all the time we have for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We're cross-examining John Doe, who's John clearly Doe. not anything else but a simple ice cream salesman. Yeah. yeah. So you can already see why the first case is so good. It's so good. Yeah. Anyhow, look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.